Okay, the first thing you need to do is log into Weebly. Disregard this sign up if you already have an account. Instead, you want to click on log in. Then once you're logged in, you need to pick whichever item that you want to edit. In this case, we are editing the Girls in Glacier. Yours will show up down here. Go ahead and click on edit or you can click on the word Girls in Glacier. And then once this pops up, you'll have to pick the page. Yours is going to look a little bit different. Pick the, the blog page that, that you have permissions to edit. And then if you wanted to add items into this particular slideshow, you just click on the slideshow. It will pop up. And you click Add, Edit Photos. And you can click Add Photos. And you go pick your photos and upload them. Once they're uploaded, you'll notice that you can add captions by clicking here and just typing in the caption and save. Now you do have to add the captions after all the pictures that you have selected have uploaded. To select more than one photo, hold down the control key when you're picking them. So when you click add photos, hold down your control and uh, you can click multiple pictures. Or you can do a control A which will select everything in that particular folder. Once you're finished with that, on the add edit photos um, you just click the save and then you're going to click up here to update and that will update that blog post if you want to edit the blog post itself or add some more information you can just click into the blog post here it takes a minute to load and then you can just click wherever you wanted to add some information and type away Again, when you're done, you just click on Update up here, and your changes will go live. If you wanted to create a whole new blog page, um, blog entry, you can click down here where it says New Post, and this will pop up asking you for the title of your new post, your post title, and then you can drag over things like a title and text and images or slideshows you click and drag them over and then follow the instructions and then click on post when you're done